So two states that how many lines of symmetry does a parallelogram have? So how many lines, sorry, not sides, lines of symmetry does a parallelogram have? So take a moment to think about this question as well. So when you talk about a parallelogram, let me draw this out and they draw it out here as well. So uh, let me draw a parallelogram. All right, good sketch of that. So um, it says, how many lines of symmetry um, does a parallelogram have? So think about this problem again. Again, the solutions are already shown for us, but think about what, what does it mean when we're talking about lines of symmetry? Well, how do we define a line of symmetry? And this is a geometry question. So again, lines of symmetry. Remember, a line of symmetry is that if you kind of cut the shape in half, both sides are have the kind of exact resemblance to each other. So both sides are kind of equal to each other. So you can think of it as like a circle. And the shape of a circle, let me draw, oh, I can use my circle tool here. And the shape of a circle, a perfect circle, if I split, if I did a line of symmetry right down the middle, Sorry about that. Um, if I do, if I do a line of symmetry right down the middle, I have um, it's gonna it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be the both sides are going to be exactly the same, right? So I have this side here, the left side here, uh, the left side here is going to be equal to this right side here, right? So it's exactly the same. If I if that's if that, that's considered a line of symmetry, if I can divide the shape uh, into two with both sides being symmetrical of each other, right? So, okay, if I did if I did the exact same thing with a parallelogram, and I cut this in half here, you're gonna realize that both sides, both sides in this case, I do not have a, 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 a line of symmetry. Because if you, if you look at this shape here, I'll do, I'll do the left side in blue to show you. So I'm going to have this shape here, which is now a trapezoid. And then I have another shape here. Which is kind of another trapezoid here. So in this case, um, it's not, it's not a, uh, it's not, it's not a symmetrical line because I can't, if I divide this in half, I get two, um, two, two shapes there here that are not symmetrical with each other. So, Let's see, let's see what they wrote here. So again here it says, the line of symmetry shape separates two symmetrical shapes. In this case of a parallelogram, no line of symmetry can be found. They sketched a parallelogram. Um, now it can be observed from the figure of the parallelogram that any line cannot divide the parallelogram into two symmetrical shapes. Therefore, no line of symmetry. So this here, this solution here would be uh, would be correct because uh, they, they, they simply just use logic to kind of uh, to figure out uh, this kind of this kind of problem here, if I wanted this shape to be a um if I wanted this shape to be symmetrical, I would have to bisect bisect this parallelogram right? I would have to go from uh from here uh from here to here oh whoops what did I do from here to here sorry from here to here and from here to here. If I want, or or from here to here, and this would split the, the shape in half. But this here is not a line of symmetry. Remember, I have to go right down the middle to get a uh, to get to get uh, the to be to be kind of a, considered a line of symmetry here. So in this case, I don't have it. So in this case, uh, no lines of symmetry. no lines of symmetry sweet so this here is a great solution 
great solution. I'd watch it. 